All right, annoying father-in-law. Dear Bill, I'm a pretty well-rounded guy. All right, let's, all right, let's fucking right out of the gate. This guy's patting himself on the back. I'm not a complete stiff, but I'm also not a flake. But wait a minute. Dude, those are both bad things. You know? I'm not a jerk, but I'm also not an asshole. <laughs> I'm not a complete stiff, but I'm also not a flake. Ah, what the, that doesn't make any fucking sense to me. Anyways, I have my shit in order. When you work hard to have your life together, the last thing you want is someone telling you stuff you don't need to hear about when you're supposed to be doing or what you're supposed to be doing with your life and money. My father-in-law is this person in my life. All he cares about is the market, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, IRAs. He actually wrote bongs. Instead of bonds. All he talks about is watching his money grow and how I should be saving everything so I can live rich when I'm older. The thing is, I do save aggressively. I'm doing just fine. Recently, I booked a trip to Greece to surprise my wife for our third wedding anniversary. On our first date, she said she always wanted to go to Greece. I told her she'd get there within five years. That was just under five years ago. Look at you. You're a man of your word. It seems like I came, came through clutch here. Her father, on the other hand, said it was not the right time because of the exchange rate, safety of traveling abroad, and anything else he could throw in there. How do I respond to him? Do I laugh it off and just wait till he talks shit again and again and live with it? Or do I put him, pull him aside and let him know I don't want to hear his shit anymore? Thanks. I would do both. I would experiment him with laughing it off at first. And if he keeps coming at you, at some point you just got to take him aside. You know, and just be like, listen, um, I would actually talk to you, ma, to uh, your wife about it first, just to tell her that you're going to do it just in case he comes at her with his fucking story of like, I was just trying to help her. He, he just browbeated me. I would just say, you just say to your wife, like, listen, I know your father means well, but, uh, you know, he's always talking to me about my finances, our finances and that type of thing. All right. I know he's very smart with money and that type of thing, but I also feel like I'm smart with money in my own way, all right? And uh, I've saved my money, and we can afford this, and we're young, and you're beautiful, and you want to go to Greece, and I'm taking you because I love you, all right? But i got to be honest with you. If your dad keeps opening his yap, I'm going to fucking shove a dinner roll in it. Are we cool? All right. What are we watching tonight? Real Housewives, or are we going to watch a little sports? Whose night is it? There you go, and then you're out. But at some point, yeah, you got to sit down. If you do have an uh, an annoying person like that in your life, you really do. You got to sit down with them, and you have to do it. Uh, I do it in a restaurant. Take them out to lunch, you know. So there's no option for any screaming and yelling, and um, just lay it on the line. You just got to say to them, like, listen. You know, I love your daughter more than anything in the world, and you have to know that I'm going to take care of her. All right? And then it'll, and it'll be, oh, right, right after that, you catch him off guard because he knows it's a fucking deep conversation. He wasn't ready for it. You're ready. All right? And just say, listen, um, I know you're concerned about her well-being. Of course you are. You're a great dad. All right? But I am saving money, and we are going to be fine I just do it a little bit different than you. Your daughter has always wanted to go to Greece. And I would rather take her now in the prime of her life than bring her over there when we're both, you know, walking around with dentures and canes. Okay? I want her to enjoy this before we have kids and blah, 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 blah. And this is what I'd like to do, and I need you to respect that. And I appreciate your comments about our finances, but I would, but I would, I don't, uh, how do you say this part? I would just say, listen, I will come to you because I know you know what you're doing. But if I, if I am having a problem financially, which I am not, but if I am, you are the first person I will come to with advice. Okay? Until then, I don't want to hear another fucking word. <laughs> I'm going to fucking do it. Smooth it out. That's basically what you do.